The following message has been approved and paid for by the mayor of Oak Cliff, Texas. Hey, oh, the way the beat drops in, that first line comes off kind of crooked, so can we fix that after? A work of incredible genius. CG, manipulative music. Live and direct from the slums. Big swab on the pen and see chisel on the drums. Gathered up the crumbs, made a pie crust, loaded it with fixing. Now we serving everybody till we drinking your attention. No need to rattle on about my resume, cause I would say. These are the anti turds. Gentlemen to my far left, he's Mr. Nice Guy. Gentlemen to my near left, CG. The master manipulator. These are the guys responsible for all that ridiculous music that has me on it, and the entire shoe on it, and, and just all the terrible things that I've ever said about anyone, or their mother, or their offspring, or their fans, or their support system. Blame those two. Well, the creative process between me and CG is, is a very unique thing. Like, uh, with me and him, it, it works in a, in a variation of different ways. Like, I may come to him with, uh, with a song I've heard, or I may come to him with an idea and say, well, I want to create this. And, you know, he'll, he'll take it and add his own spin to it, then we'll come back and reformulate it, and I'll write, and then we'll go record and see what happens. Then there are other times where, he gets into his mad scientist mode, just like I do. With a word document or a pen, I get into a mad scientist mode, and I'll just create something. And I just need a canvas to put the, put the paint on. Other times, he'll get into his zone when he starts making tracks, when he starts bulk, uh, bulk producing. And he'll come up with a concept that just fits my frame of mind. And he'll be like, well, this is something I, I, I think you would fit well on. And then I'll listen to it, and then I'll create to it based on that. But it's usually, it's a... Uh, it's kind of like the two-man game in basketball. Best way I can describe my thought process is everything I go into, every last song, is to prove some kind of point. Made to myself, because I'm like my own, my, my own worst critic. To be honest, if he likes it, then I don't care. Who else actually likes it, honestly, because like, I feel he's just the biggest hip-hop asshole I know. So if he likes it, let's let him hear it when the artist's gonna stay. You know, the way we do our pre-production is kind of random at times, but kind of more so this EP page kind of specifically kind of done with Swab in mind. So it was just to make sure that he could make, so he could make a fool out of everybody else putting out projects at the time, pretty much. That's, that's really my motivation. I get a lot of joy out of other people's anguish when it comes to music. I would say if there was gonna be a favorite record to perform, it would probably be Beast Mode. I'd probably say Beast Mode because yeah. it was like, well, actually, I don't even remember where Seven came from. But um, I knew when I did it that he was gonna love it, and I was gonna, I was interested to see where he was gonna go with it because it's just like I can't even really describe it, but it just had a certain energy to it to where I know he was gonna do something stupid. So I was kind of impressed with myself when I did it. So you know, what do you feel as though is your favorite song from the Mayor Music? I would have to say most likely would be highs and lows. Yeah, the fan. The like um just being as close as we are, you know what I'm saying, really besides music, you know what I'm saying? Like being as close as we are, like brothers. Like the people you're talking about, you know what I'm saying, in the song specifically, like house love ones. Like, I do these people myself. Like we don't well, in the past, we hadn't done a lot of songs with just really, really getting that personal. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times we just like to 
stunt on niggas rap wise, like as far as just being better MCs or just whatever, like just putting, you know, putting niggas in their place, with little commentary stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like as far as just something truly, truly heartfelt and, you know, emotional like that, we hadn't really done a record like that. So, you know what I'm saying? And then seeing the emotion that was coming out of Suave actually, like when he was recording it, was like, you know, it was a new experience. I mean, I kind of, and I see how other people react to the song, especially people that also knew the individuals when we talked about the song. Like, it, it was kind of a different experience for me. Especially, like, when we were in the studio mixing the record, it was kind of emotional for all of us, you know what I'm saying? Kind of the way we were. Yeah, it was kind of a it was I remember energy. when CG like, first let me hear the track, I mean, before Swab even recorded on it, I remember telling him, I think I told you, it was one of the many you let me hear, and I was like, dude, you just can't, you know, you might have to just teach the guys on how they do this shit, because you, you know, getting on that track and just, you know, you just can't talk about anything on there. It's, 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 it's that track, the, the track itself is already, it's, it's like there's a certain amount of emotion within the track itself, so Thumbs the MC. Pink Floyd. Yeah, right. shout out to Pink Floyd, Pink Floyd, yeah. Pink Floyd. the other side of the rainbow. Yeah. And, hey, and Zilla did it justice. Yeah, he Zilla went there. totally did it justice. I mean, I that's a, that's a song that I listen to a lot on repeat, you know, and it just yeah. further shows the greatness of so Soapbox South. Soapbox. Fucking job. Oh, yeah. Take some fun, so box Beautiful job. Yes, sir. You went there, you brought the soul out of you. That's salute you for that. It's a very, um, it's a very emotional song. Yeah. Yeah. You'll find, you'll find different things that aren't even in there. You'll find different elements, you'll find different sounds to add. And when he does that, it creates a sound that is even more than what you anticipated when you first got it and put it on the record. And I find that to be extremely refreshing. It's kind of interesting because we had so many songs that we recorded. I mean, it's why I've recorded in the last few years, last couple years. Like, we had to start separating the songs and figuring out how we were going to present them. Yeah. Like, so it's like a story that goes along with that shit too. So it's like, I mean, it's real personal to me. I have a really good like, photographic memory almost. And I, I remember the conversations that we have as to why this these were the first songs beat, etc., etc. So I'm just as excited as the Scarlet Relation is about the release of it, like when we finished it, it was like an accomplishment. And we work hard to get these type of results. Play so, harder. And we shall play harder. Like I said, it would be certain niggas' expense. It would be on your guy. 